Lines and patterns. Artists pay attention to colours. They also pay attention to lines. Look around and you will see lines everywhere. Lines frame every door and window. You make lines every time you write your name. Lines on the street tell cars what side to stay on. Sidewalks are filled with lines and cracks. Zebras are striped with lines. Bear tree branches make lines against the sky. Look at your hands. They're covered with thin lines. Once you begin to look around, you see that we are surrounded by lines. Lines are all around us in nature and in art. What lines can we see right now? There are all kinds of lines. Straight, curved, zigzag and wavy. Each kind of line has its own personality. Straight lines point us in a direction like an arrow. Curved lines make us think of motion like a ball rolling. Zigzag lines are full of energy, like a bolt of lightning. Wavy lines can be calm, like waves lapping on the beach. Do it yourself. Hunt for lines where you live. Straight lines around doors and windows. Curve lines around a clock face. Can you find any wavy lines? Perhaps in the folds of curtains. Any zigzags? In the gables of the house. Just like you, artists use lines when they are making art. Here's a painting by Jean Miro in which the lines are easy to see. Can you trace the lines with your finger? But what is it a painting of? At first it's hard to see. I will tell you a secret though. Miro liked to paint what he saw in his dreams. And as you know, the things you see in your dreams can be a little strange. Let's look more closely at the lines of Miro's painting. Can you find some straight lines? Can you find some curved lines? Miro has painted some of the lines so that they come together to make shapes. What shapes do you see? What colours do you see? Maybe the name Miro gave to his painting will help us figure out what it might be. He called his painting, People and Dog in Front of the Sun. Where is the sun? Where are the people? Can you see a dog? Can you even turn the painting upside down to see another one of the people? Here is a picture drawn by an artist named Hukusai. The picture is made up completely of lines. Can you see what Hukusai made a drawing of? Do you see a person, a man or a woman? Do you see a musical instrument? It looks like a violin or a banjo. Hukusai named his drawing Tuning the Samasun. Samasun is the name of this musical instrument from a country in Asia called Japan. This picture shows a woman getting her instrument ready to play by turning the strings. When Hukusai made this drawing, he decided that some of the lines should be thick and some should be thin. Take a look. Can you point to thick lines in the drawing? Can you point to thin lines? Do some things in the drawing look like they might be soft to touch? Does anything look hard or smooth? Let's look for lines now in another painting. This one was made by the artist named Henry Matisse. He called it the purple robe and it's pretty easy to see why isn't it? The first thing you might notice about the purple robe is its bright joyful colours but let's focus on the lines instead. Matisse decided to paint many bold thick lines in his painting. Take a look at how different these lines are from the sharp thick black lines that Miro used in People and Dog in Front of the Sun. Do you see lines in the purple robe that are side by side and look alike? Take a look at the wallpaper behind the woman, for example. On one side of the painting, the wall is painted with straight lines. On the other side of the painting, behind the woman, the wall is painted with curved lines. These repeated lines are called patterns. You can trace a pattern on each side of the wall with the tip of your finger. Where else did Matisse paint patterns in this picture? What about in the woman's purple robe, the vase, the floor? Now see if you can find more patterns in your house or neighbourhood. <laughs>